Second time of asking on the inside in red is Matej Janowski. Gate number two in blue, Bartosz Marsley. Gate number three in white is uh, Anders Thompson. And Mikkel Mikkelsen, who is now entering the arena, will go from the outside in yellow. And uh, will he stay on his motorbike this time? Hugely competitive race. The nerves are jangling now. Second time of asking, Chris. Yeah, first attempt was a very even break. Um, Got to say, I think it will be again. Yeah, I fancied the man in blue, that's for sure. Uh, Bartosz Marslik, but uh, as I say, at this sudden death now, really have got to keep your nerves together. I'd say that 180 heart rate there. I wonder if that machine is correct, because I'm going to say 180 beats per minute. <laughs> Certainly, <laughs> Matze Janowski, his heart is pounding away there on the inside. Settling down, second time of asking, the grand final, opening round of the World Championship. Here we go! Away they go to the first turn. Bartosz Smarslik, fabulous start from gate number two. Here they come on the inside, Anders Thompson. Oh! Tight was that Mikkel Mickelson, excuse me, it was Mickelson who forced his way in the second place. Janowski now trying around the outside. Bartosz Smarzik's away. He's got the victory in his back pocket. Now Janowski responds, roaring around the outside. Will it be a day? Polish one, two, but once again Mickelson's there. Janowski now switches to the inside, Chris. Yeah, Smarzik took him a Quite a while this evening to find the perfect setup, but look at him going away in a, fast. in a class field. These guys have all been fast tonight, but Smarsnik really comfortably out front. And it looks like Janowski settled down for, for second place this evening. The Danes scrapping it out at the back. Down the back straight for the last time of the evening. Bartosz Smarsnik absolutely in a class of his own in the final. Comes out of the last corner and Bartosz Smarsnik wins in Croatia here in Gorosan this evening. Fabulous effort once again. The former world champion coming alive. The longer the meeting went on, the better he got. Superb stuff from Bartosz Marslik. Matze Janowski, strong performance back in second place. A Polish one, two on the evening. And there, Mikkel Mikkelsen in third, and Anders Thompson just missing out on the rostrum. What a performance. All day he's been on top of his game. Smarslik topped the qualifying and now wins the Grand Prix. Fantastic start to the series, Ben. Well, totally dominant. Fastest man in the qualifying, took uh, the start position number five, comes through in flying colours in the final. Sensational start, celebrates with his team. They'll be delighted. He will have a massive weight of expectation this year, but this man, he can cope with it. He's shown he can. He couldn't have made a better start. And for Bartosz Marslik, he's just thrown the gauntlet down. Come and get me if you can. So here we have the winner of round one here in Croatia, Bartosz Smarzlik. How good does that feel? Oh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm very happy because the whole meeting I'm so have a bad start. But today evening in the gate two in the final two times make it the best start and I'm uh, very happy about it and uh, I never uh, win GP the first round and today I make it and I'm very happy. Yes, you're saying you weren't making good starts, so did you feel an awful lot of pressure to make the right gate choice in that final? What? Did you feel a lot of pressure to make the correct choice of the gate position? What the pressure? <laughs> I'm joking. You deal with the I, pressure pretty good. I'm really, I don't looking for this one. I uh, want to make it uh, my job because I love it speedway and that's it. Well done, Bartosz, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Here we see the line up because off the inside of red. Leon Madsen out of gate two in blue. Freddie Lingwin coming out of gate number three in white. And off the outside, Max Frick, who chose that. He had the pick, had the first pick. And it's final time in the Nanadovi in Warsaw. Um, three lights on. Takes up and away we go because it makes a good stop and Frick's there as well. Frick's made it from the outside. What a move from the Australian. He's down the back straight. He's fired himself to the front. Leon Madsen, Nicholson's down. Red lights are on. I think he took Drama. his handlebars. He took his handlebars away. Drama in the final. Somebody's going to have to go now. It's not the first corner. Madsen could go here. Madsen very strong going into that third corner, Chris. Yeah, it was very forceful. I think he may have just taken his arm, hand off the handlebars. We'll have to see that one again. Oh, Max Frick must have thought he was going to win here. I think it's the first time we've seen somebody actually get across. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no,
cutbacks that made runs around the outside, but he just went straight across. Absolutely fabulous start from the outside. Leon Madsen, no exclusion light on yet, but there will be one coming. No, but he's, We're he's, going to be concerned about Mikko Mikkelsen. He's putting it on me. Leon knows that there's a chance. He I think he put it on he's me. He's just said he's leading on me. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? I need to see it again. I'm not sure if he was leading on it. So finally, you wouldn't blame him if he was. Um, you know, but no, I need to see it again. Well, you can now. Yeah, here we go. And we can see... Uh, Leon just uh, coming up the inside of Nicholson. There, there's definitely contact. But Leon, um, Leon has got the better of him there. He's got his nose in front of him there, Chris. Yeah. Let's just have a look from this angle. Uh, I think Nicholson's in front. Ooh. He's in front. He's... Ooh. I disagree with you. No, no, have a look at it again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if Nicholson went, it wouldn't be a shot. Because I think Leon is at this point in front. Got the better but, there. But he hasn't enabled Mickelson to get in the corner because he can't straighten the bike up. He's going to crash anyway. And, and the leg is gone. But Leon had nowhere to go. Where is he going to go? He's, He's going to have to go to the centre degree to miss him. Had he overcommitted himself? <laughs> well, no, because. Well, look, we could argue about that all night long. I oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> delighted I'm not in a referee this yeah. evening because that's a difficult call. That's a very difficult call. And either way it goes, both riders are going to feel aggrieved, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter who's excluded. But Leon yeah, Benson was just fractionally in front of him. He leaned on me. No exclusion yet, because the guard L taking his time here. That's a tough one. And it's a really tough call. And... Uh, Certainly, I wouldn't want to be the one to make it. And uh, it is drama here in the final. Which way is it going to go? Red is out. Red is out. Nico Mickelson goes. Chris Gardell clearly felt that Leon Madsen had got the better of him and Mickelson was leaning all over him. A reprieve possibly for Madsen, but a tough call nonetheless, Chris. Tough call. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, he could have gone either way with that one. So here we go. Final time in Warsaw. There they go. And it's another great stop from Max Rick off the outside. He's made it. He's hit the first corner in front. Leon Madsen's in second place. Freddie Lingman back in third. This is out. Max Rick, though. What composure. Wow, what a ride from him. He completes the first lap. He's in front. Leon Madsen's pushing hard in second place. Freddie's in third. But Max Rick looks like he's going to win here in the narrow. Yeah, fully committed. He's not riding defensively. He's on the edge of the dirt, mid-track, and he's building up plenty of speed. It's good to see Max riding like this. The Aussie uh, champion deserves a little bit more than he saw in the first round with two points. He's going to take this one. Fantastic stuff from him. Super stuff from Max Frick out in front. He's had game four for the last three outings. He had no hesitation to take that. He made an absolutely dream start away from the outside. And Max Frick is the winner in the Naranovi tonight. What a performance. He failed to score in his first ride, but the Australian champion has turned it on in five style. And a fully deserved win. Had to do it the hard way. Had to come out second time of asking. Now, Scott Nichols is down there on the centre green, and we can hear from Max Frick now. So the winner of the PG FIM Speedway Grand Prix from the Narodovi Stadium in Warsaw is Australia's Max Frick. Max, huge congratulations, mate. How do you feel? Man, this is so surreal. It's unbelievable being here in the stadium with so many people. We've been hearing you all night, it's been amazing. So uh, to bring a little bit of Aussie flag to Poland tonight, the Polish GP, it's, uh, it's an unreal feeling and uh, I just can't believe I'm up on the top of the podium. Mate, you had to do it a second time round as well. I don't know what your heart rate was like, but how were the nerves on that second one? I was pretty disappointed after that first one, not going to lie. But, uh, you know, I managed to regroup and, and get back out there and, and have another shot at it. So it's, uh, you know, a good first start and a good first corner really gave me the speed for the rest of the race. Talking of regrouping, you had a tough night in the opening round in, in Croatia. So no better way to bounce back. You really put yourself back in the game in your second GP win. Yeah, exactly. Croatia was, uh, was pretty disappointing for me. So... Uh, you know, I had to get a bit between my teeth to come back here and, uh, you know, to move a little bit further up that leaderboard and, and regain some positions that I missed out on. So, uh, 
job done here tonight and, and hopefully we can move on and have a successful uh, rest of the GP series. Definitely, mate. Showed a lot of grit onward and upwards. Well done. Ta, thank you. The focus of attention is on these four riders. Who's going to win the night? That man in the blue helmet colour, Martin Vasilik, has a very good chance. He's been riding terrifically well this evening. It's about composure now. Hold yourself together. Do the right things at the right time. And um, I've got to say, one or two of these boys have been here more than once. Woofenden has won this uh, meeting three times consecutively between 2013 and 2015. He knows what it's all about. Janowski won here last year. Martin Vasilik, a multiple Grand Prix winner, of course. He knows what it's all about. Jason Doyle, a former world champion. He's won here in the Marquetta. There's real quality on the start line here for the final race of the evening, Chris. Really is a fabulous lineup for the final. On the inside, Woofenden in red, Martin Vasilek in blue in gate number two, Matze Janowski on a warning coming out of gate number three, and Jason Doyle will go from gate number four in the yellow helmet colour. Settling down then for the big grand final, here we go in the Marquette Stadium, green lights on, oh, Janowski's blown it on the start, away they go, the red light's on. He'll have to be out, he's uh, had a warning already. Oh, that's desperate for Matze Janowski, he was nervous in the semi-final where he twitched a bit on the start line. Got away with it that time, but Arta Kashmir is the referee, really has no choice but to uh, take him out of the final. I don't think there was any movement before him. Yeah, well, maybe from Jason Doyle, Doyle, you know, it could be used as, as an excuse. Oh, Doyle definitely moves. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, Magic's got a good case to make there. Uh, no exclusion light on yet, but I just fancy the fact that it could well be curtains there for Janowski. And uh, we wait to see the decision from the referee. Janowski's still out on track. Maybe a bit of... But he's been no, told to leave yeah, yeah. the uh, arena, and that's desperately disappointing end to the evening. He'll pick up 14 World Championship points, and um, uh, far from disastrous, but of course he would have been looking for the win there. Green light is on. Away they go, oh, Martin Vasilik. What a start from him. He fires himself to the front. Ty Woofenden now slots into second place, but Martin Vasilik down that back straight on the opening lap. Absolutely will perfect away from the start. It was a textbook start there from the Slovakian. Jason Doyle back in third. But Martin Vasilik, look at him go out in front. A stunning opening lap there from him. Martin Vasilik has come into this meeting and found some fantastic form. He's right, I've never seen him ride better, I don't think. He's just riding the bike with so much determination. He's out in the dirt. He's not worried about where he's riding. And stretching that lead against Ty Wolfenden and Jason Doyle, who certainly have have turned their uh, Grand Prix series round tonight. They have indeed, but for Martin Vasilik, that was a stunning start. It's been a terrific night of speedway right through all the evening for him. He's out in front, he's got this final really wrapped up, just needs to keep it going. One last turn for Martin Vasilik. As he comes out of turn number four, the crowd are on their feet. Martin Vasilik wins in fine style here in the Marquetta tonight. What a performance from him. He'll be absolutely overjoyed with that. 20 massive World Championship points for him. Good result for Ty Woofenden back in second place and Doyle in third. But what can you say about Martin Vasilik? Had the, the uh, strength of his convictions there to go for gate number two, Chris, yeah. and he made it work. Yeah, he did it twice. He's made it work both times. And uh, for the second Grand Prix in a row, we see a guy at the bottom of the field taking the victory, mixing it up. Yeah, so very difficult to predict uh, the results at the moment. It really is a topsy-turvy season, but uh, it's an indication of how competitive this series is. It really is. And um, uh, a tough one to call. Fair play to Bartosz Marzic yeah. there going across to co congratulate Martin Vasilik. Great sportsmanship from him. Ty Woofenden will be delighted as well with his second place on the evening. 18 championship points for him. And... Uh, Back in third place, 16 World Championship points for Jason Doyle. But the night belongs to Martin Vasilik. So it's final time here in Tetero. Great to be back. First time since 2019, of course. It's all been on pause for two years because of the pandemic. Well, we're back. Huge crowds. People enjoying themselves. Great to see.
So on the inside, we've got Patrick Dudek in red. Gate number two in blue is Robert Lambert. Bartosz Smarslik will come out of gate number three in white. And off the outside is Freddie Lindgren in yellow. Here we go, then. Final race of the night. Green lights on now. Takes her up, Jarvis, and away they go. Dudek's made the good start from the inside. Hugs that first turn. There's Bartosz Smarslik coming through in the second place. And Freddie Lindgren also getting the better of Robert Lambert down the back straight on the opening lap. Dudek once again in that position. We've become accustomed to seeing him. He's got a lead. He's looking good, Chris. He's, He's set for good. a final win now. He deserves this. He's been the best rider all night long. I don't think Smarslik's overly comfortable. I don't think he wants to throw these points away. His nearest challengers have not put themselves in the final. So this will do for Bartosz Smarslik. But Patrick Dudek, you can take nothing away from him. He absolutely deserves this victory on the night. Looking good out in front, just got to keep it all together. He's bouncing around. A little bit uncomfortable there that time. Into the last lap. Smarslik hanging on to second place. It's strung out. Understandably so. Difficult conditions. But just one big effort around this last corner. Keep it all together. Patrick Dudek, the rider of the night. No question about it. Wins in style. Fully deserved win for Patrick Dudek. Smarslik back in second place. Does his world championship. No harm at all with Gorshoff coming up in three weeks' time. It's been a tough night, but for Patrick Dudek, that is an outstanding victory here tonight in Tetero. Yeah, four GPs, four different winners. What a series we've got on our hands here, Kelvin. It's going yeah. to be fantastic. Yeah, it's been terrific. It's been tough out there, but Patrick Dudek delights the Polish fans. And uh, considering the form he was in coming into tonight, he probably can't believe it's, it. It's a relief. A relief and overwhelmed with emotion. The team delighted, of course they are. They've probably been working harder than they've ever done with the fact that he's been finding form hard to come by. But for Patrick Dudek, that is an outstanding result. And the 20 World Championship points that he has earned tonight are very welcome indeed. 14th place he was coming into tonight. He won't be there now. Patrick Dudek, the winner. Final time. Last four laps of the evening. Here we go. Heat 23, the final here in the Edward Ganses. It's the 3W FIM Speedway GP of Poland here in Gorzhov tonight. Just taking their time, few deep breaths. Just trying to hold yourself together. Produce something a little bit special when you really need to. Don't jump the start, don't touch the tapes, <laughs> don't blow it now. One last push. One oh, last the push. Whole evening comes I tell you down what, the intensity race. of the racing tonight has been spectacular. Yeah, Here on the inside, class. Patrick Dudek in red. Alongside him is Anders Thompson in blue. Bartosz smiles to the out of gate number three in white. Martin Vasilik from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Final time here in the Edward Jansesh. Here we go, start Marshall just making sure that they're going to be in the right place. Nerves are jangling. 60 seconds to prove we can win here this evening. Not too much longer now, green light comes on now. Away we go. Great start from Smarts, they've got to say he's made a good start there, but Dudek's there on the inside, but Thompson, keep your eyes on Thompson. Whoa, what a move from Vachelet to come through into third place, very nearly into second place, but Anders Thompson out of gate number two. He fires himself to the front, superb opening lap from him. Smarts out the back, Dudek in trouble. Smarts must now capitalise, surely. Yes, he does, he's through into third place. Martin Vachelet in second place, but Anders Thompson out in front, riding out of his skin. Tell you, Anders Thompson keeps this smooth, doesn't make any mistakes. That's the only thing I feel is going to hand it to Vashnik. Smarslik making so much ground up just in one corner. He's uh, looking for a higher step on the podium. But here he here comes, comes, here he comes. Oh, Thompson's got it. Oh, Smarslik now loses momentum down the back straight for the last time. What a performance from Anders Thompson. Brilliant Spectacular stuff. stuff from him. Round the last corner, Anders Thompson, Anders Thompson wins it here in the Edward Yancet Stadium. Delight for him. Smarslik back in third place. Dudek just missing out. Vasilik in uh, second. Wow, what a performance from Anders Thompson. I tip my hat to him. Yeah, brilliant. In truth, a lot of people were saying he shouldn't be riding. 
But by golly, he's ridden out of his skin tonight, Chris. Yes, that is has. a sensational win for Anders Thompson. Yeah, fully deserved. He's plugged away all night. Hasn't looked spectacular, but he did it when it counted. And his semi-final and final performance were first class. They were indeed a master class from the Danish rider. Finished second in the Danish championship to Rasmus Jensen on Wednesday night. Comes here to Gorzhov. Picks up the Grand Prix win. Fantastic moment for Anders Thompson. Got to say, that really is quite spectacular. For now, the night goes to Anders Thompson. Congratulations, Anders Thompson. Fantastic way to finish his night. Superb. Line up for the final. Dudek on the inside in red. Dan Bewley alongside him in blue. Bartosz Schmalzik had a gate three in white. Leon Masson off the outside in yellow. Wow. We've got here. Yeah. We've had to be patient, but yeah, we've got yeah. it here. We've, we've, we've waited for it, but I think it's going to be worth waiting for. It is going to be tense, it's going to be tight into that first turn. It's been a roller coaster of a night. Four laps to go to determine the winner after a three year gap in the Principality. The final of the night then. Green light comes on now. Takes her up and we're underway. Julie's made a great start out of gate number two. Fires and still for the front. Draws down the first corner. Smarting now into second place with Dudek slipping back into third. Madsen didn't make it from the outside gate. Julie out in front. Looking like a winner from there for me. Absolutely sensational start. You said Chris, he had a smile on his face. And so he proved. Brilliant stuff from Beauty. Yeah, he had a smile that oozed with confidence as gate two became available. And he has taken this one, the ball by the horns. Look at him go. Whoa. Making the bike work perfectly. He's leaving Smiles looking in weight. Absolutely. Out in front, just over a lap to go for Dan Bewley. Smiles the championship leader. That's no bad result for him. One last big effort for Bewley down the back straight. Here he comes. Listen to the crowd. Take him home. The winner in the Principality. Dan Bewley. What a ride. What a ride from that young man. This is a moment he will never forget. Absolutely right. Stunning performance. Absolutely jet propelled away from gate number two. What an encounter. Bartosz Smarzlik in second place. Patrick Dudek back in third. But the night belongs to Dan Beauty from Great Britain. He picks up 20 world championship points, moving on to 64. What a night. And the first British winner in 15 years, Chris. Right. We've had to wait a long time, but by golly, it was worth the wait. Yeah, his camp are going to be partying tonight. That was done so fantastically well. He made an electric start. He made the bike work in, the, in all four laps. He didn't make any mistakes, and he can rightly celebrate. Uh, look that down there with Steve Lawson, a man who really has worked tirelessly to get him to this point. Dan Beauty comes of age, so close in Gorzhov, of course, last time out. But now his first final, and guess what? He's won it. Yeah, your FIM Speedway Grand Prix round six winner. This man here, Dan Beauty. Dan, you make your first final, and you go and win it in arguably the best venue on the calendar. Yeah. Uh, I actually thought about this in Gorjov, you know, about winning, and uh, I had a speech and some people I wanted to thank and all kinds, but now I'm here, I just, uh, well, I've got, after the second lap, I kind of, I don't know, I seized up, and uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody for cheering me on tonight, you know, thanks to the boys in the pits for working hard, and, uh, you know, thanks to everyone who makes it work, sponsors and friends and family here, and some working fans, some fans from all over England, and all over the world, Poland, and uh, it's just been awesome. What a night. An amazing night, and he got off to a perfect start, two race wins. Obviously, I know this is going to take a while to settle in, but uh, I have to ask you, did you have a plan going into that final? Uh, I actually wanted gate two, but then I was thinking, uh, you know, I should probably go one, and then um, after the semi, I didn't have much choice, so it worked out pretty good. So uh, just, yeah, make the start and try and get in front. The track's a lot easier in front, so... Uh, no, uh, after the first lap, I thought, you know, put one good lap in and then, uh, you know, I think it's the wrong thing to do, look behind, but I kind of seen I had a bit of a lead and, uh, you know, seized up, but uh, we got the job done and, uh, you know, just once again, thanks to the boys in the pits and uh, thanks for everybody for supporting me tonight. Just finally, 
How were the nerves part way through the race? And how were the nerves part way through the race? Did you seize up? Was the heart race kind of just off the scale? Yeah, it was off the scale in the semi actually when we had one minute for the rerun. But uh, no, you know, I love pressure and uh, I think you've got to earn pressure and it's cool. But uh, you know, after two laps, I don't think that's pressure. I think you get a little bit, you know, confident and uh, you seize up. But uh, no, this is awesome. But uh, it's still a long way to go in the season. So. Look forward to the next one, but, uh, you know, this is one I'm never going to forget. Mate, in the meantime, enjoy tonight. Soak it up. Well done, Dan Bewley. But it's final time here in the Olympic Stadium in Wroclaw. It's the Betard FIM Speedway GP of Poland. And uh, we are coming to the final four laps to uh, finish off the evening. We do hope it's in grand style. We have no reason to think it won't be. We've uh, witnessed some uh, terrific racing out there tonight. So once again, we will show you the lineup for the grand final here tonight. Boys just um, uh, digging around, making sure they choose the best possible place. So the lineup for the final then. On the inside is Dan Bewley in red. Gate number two in blue is Matt Sajanowski. Gate number three in white is Leon Metzen. And Robert Lambert will go from the outside in yellow. So riders now moving forward for the final race of the night. Who's going to win here in the Olympic Stadium? Tough one to call. Could be Bewley on the inside. Could he make it back to back Grand Prix victories? The green light's on. We're away. And they roll to the first corner. And Bewley's got there. Lambert's been pushed wide by Janowski. Leon Manson, but Bewley out of the first corner. Here we go now. Into second place is Metzo Janowski. But Bewley after the inside gate had to make it. And he was up to the task. He's stolen a march on the opposition. Leon Manson now through into second place. Janowski trying to repay the compliment, but Dan Beauty out in front, Chris. Looking set fair for a second consecutive Grand Prix win. Yeah, first rider to do it this year, and he's looked fast in his last heat. He's looked fast in his semi final, and once again in the final when it really counts, he looks quick, but they're not going to let him go. Madsen stretching his arms out, looking for every little bit of traction he can find. Here we go then, they're into the last lap in the final in the Olympic Stadium in Brodslav. Dan Bewley looking set fair for a second win of the year in the Grand Prix. Two finals, looking like it's going to be two wins. Here we go through the last corner. Dan Bewley in front of his home crowd wins again. What a night for Dan Bewley. Leo Madsen back in second place. And what can you say about Dan Bewley, a man on the crest of a wave. Fabulous performance once again from Dan Bewley. Dan Bewley riding high there, just uh, congratulating fellow Brit Robert Lambert, who I think may have just uh, grabbed himself a rostrum spot. We'll have to have a look at that again, but no mistaking the winner. Dan Bewley, two on the trot, wins in Cardiff, his home round, and again here on his home track in the Polish League, Rostov. Fantastic stuff from him. This is what dreams are made of for Dan Bewley, no question about that. Absolutely sensational form from the young British rider. Look, didn't really look like he was going to make the semi-finals. He was the last qualifier. And he comes out to arms with 20 big, big world championship points. Calvin, we said it. We need someone to find consistency at the very, very top. And it looks like it might be coming from Dan Bewley. Yeah, man, the moment you're round seven winner here in Rotsov, Dan Bewley. Dan, your first Grand Prix here. You get your first win in Cardiff. The first two-time winner in 2022, and you scrape into the semi-finals by the skin of your teeth. Pretty good night, really. Yeah, I wouldn't have said that after Heat 19, but um, yeah, we worked hard in the pits tonight, and uh, we swapped bikes towards the end, and uh, just turned the night around. Uh, you know, to get the win here was pretty special. You know, in Cardiff, I, you know, I felt good all day and uh, felt good on the track, but uh, here I think it's the kind of track where everybody is good, and uh, you know, this kind of. You know, I wouldn't say it means more, but uh, you know, I feel like everyone was at the best at this track, so it's pretty cool. Well, this is the World Championship, everybody's at their best. So, was there a little bit of panic setting in early on when you kind of started off good, but then you had that little dip midway through? Yeah, you know, not really. I just kind of knew if I had to win the last race to try and make the semis, and even then it was going to be tight. But, um, you know, that was the plan, and uh, it all came good in the end. Well, you've won on home, so now it's your home track. Is there, you got a special mention to the Polish fans, your home, the Spart Wrocław fans? Yeah, I, I wish I could say more, but uh, just dziękuję bardzo. Uh, 
Dobrovichuk. <laughs> That's about all I've got, but you know, thank you for supporting me tonight. Uh, it's been awesome here. I've loved every minute of it. Well, your Polish wasn't as good, but your race with top notch. Well done. Enjoy your celebrations. Thank you. So here we go then. Grand conclusion to the night with the final. Dudek's been riding well all of late. And um, uh, makes another final. And it's got a favoured gate. Could be his night. Goes about his business quite calmly and quietly these days. But uh, nonetheless, that's uh, certainly... Since that win in uh, Germany and Tetra, really had some... Uh, had a really great run of form. And it uh, wouldn't be a surprise at all to see him win from the inside here this evening. So, uh, Voyan Centre, packed to the rafters tonight. Great atmosphere out there. Promotion have done a great job to encourage people to come. The weather's played its part. And uh, the public have responded in fine style. So, on the inside is Patrick Dudek in red. Leon Madsen was alongside him in blue, gate number two. Gate number three in white is Bartosz Smarslik. And Robert Lambert will go from the outside in yellow. Here we go, then. Big final on the night here in Bruins. Here we go, green lights on, and we're away. Madsen's made a good stop, but so is Smarslik. But it's Lambert. Lambert and Smarslik through that first corner. Smarslik there. Lambert having the door absolutely rammed shut down the back straight. What a start from gate number three that was. Madsen coming on strong in third place. But Robert Lambert now settling in second. But this is just what Smarslik has done. He's cleared off out in front. The championship lead was 16 points. He's going to stretch it by another four points if he can hang on out in front now. Oh, great stuff from Bartosz Smarslik. He is so determined. His semi-final ride and the speed and pace he's got in that first turn coming from gate three, almost impossible task. Robert Lambert, uh, great first lap, but he just had to get defensive on uh, Madsen, lost that initial ground on Smarslik, but what a response. Great ride from Bartosz Smarslik. Smarslik out in front. This is all but done. The World Championship is getting ever closer. He wins here in Boyens tonight. Brilliant ride from him. Robert Lambert did, clearly delighted with a second place. And Leon Madsen back in third and Dudek misses out. Smarslik wins his second Grand Prix of the year. And um, won the opening round, of course, in Croatia. Wins again in Voyen. Superb effort from him. Congratulations also goes to Robert Lambert with a fine second place. Brilliant stuff from Robert Lambert. And Leon Madsen back in third. But Smarslik, you can just see the reaction. That meant an awful lot to him tonight. It did, yeah. It's uh, rare that you see him reacting quite like that. He's used to winning races, used to winning Grand Prix. But... Yeah, your winner here in Voyance for round eight is the championship leader, Bartosz Smarslik. Bartosz, you didn't have the first choice of gate. It was kind of the, one of the worst choices, but you're going to made it. Your second win here, and you extend your championship lead by 20 points. I'm really happy because the, my starts today is so really hard, and I don't feel good speed the first two racing. But after I feeling a little bit better on the start and the 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 laps and uh, in the final I have the everything and starting laps and uh, I'm really happy because that is boy and so special place so very hard for the body and for the good setups because the very hit so big different the lineup for the final then is Ty Wolfenden off the inside in red Bartosz Smarsik out of gate number two in blue Freddie Lingman will go from gate three in white and Matej Janowski going from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. So here we go then, the conclusion of the night. Final time. Start Marshall is uh, happy now. Craig Ackroyd, the uh, referee. Green lights on and we're away. What a start from Smarslik. Absolutely flew away from gate number two. Turns it tight. Down the back straight. Lingwin coming on strong around the outside. Got to say that Wuffenden just trapped there, is aware of riders coming on strong. Lingren now through into second place. Is he through into the first? No, Smarzik slams the door shut. Oh, a great ride from Smarzik. Did all the work on the first turn to stop the run of Ty Wuffenden, who'd made the comeback. I'll tell you what, Freddie Lingren is putting an awful lot of pressure on Bartosz Smarzik. He's uh, tempted him to ride defensively around the inside, and that's the right move. Indeed it is, but Smarzik just reacted in the nick of time. Hugging that inside line, Janowski's now moved through into third place with Wolfenden, relegated to the back. What a way to finish the night here 
clinched the World Championship before he even rode in the semi-final. And he's going to go on and win back-to-back Grand Prix and his third Grand Prix win of the year. Smartling wins here in Melilla tonight, the new world champion. Now we can relax. Now we can take it all in. Celebrations can begin. Congratulations to him. What a way to round the night out. Good performance for Freddy back in second place. Janowski on the rostrum again. But for that man, the night belongs to Bartosz Smarzlik. So your penultimate round winner is Bartosz Smarzlik. A bit of deja vu, because I'm sure I spoke to you earlier, but now also the new 2023 world champion. Has it sunk in yet? Yeah, I feel unbelievable because uh, you know what I said to you before the semi-final and uh, about today night. I'm full focus for the, this night because I really want the win and make it everything uh, before last round in Torin. Yeah, that's remarkable because you didn't have to win the final tonight. You're already world champion, but you showed true world, champ- uh, world champion spirit and went out and won and showed the boys who's boss. Oh, well, for me, so it hit uh, title so a little bit different again because uh, so I'm finished uh, championship before the last rounds and I'm happy, very happy about this. I'm, I think so a little bit more say about this after the season because now I don't really know what the make it today and I must, you know, a little bit more easy and look at for the media and my friend, <laughs> friends what uh, think so about me today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on the inside is Bartosz Marslik in red, Martin Vasilik out of gate number two in blue, Matze Janowski out of gate three in white and Leon Matson out of gate number four in yellow. So the final of the night, the conclusion of the SGP series here in Torin this evening. Green lights off, away we go, Martin Vasilik! Wow, what a start the final, absolutely nailed it! Bartosz Smarsley coming through in second place. Here comes Leon Madsen rushing through into third place with Janowski Ooh, out the back. Nice. Leon Madsen, how on earth did he move, move uh, out the way there? Certainly nearly collected the world champion on the way through. Janowski forcing his way back into third place. Wants to be on the podium tonight. But for Martin Metzelik, what a start. Looking like a winner from there. He certainly is. He's not doing anything flash. He's just riding the right lines. He's got that bike set up absolutely perfect. Just to find the traction he needs. He's taking the shortest route around the inside. It's too far now around the fence. He knows that. He's got Smarzlik now giving chase. Taking even shorter route there, but I just can't see that he's going to find a way past. Martin Vasilik down the back straight for the last time in the final. What a night it's been for the Slovakian rider. He comes through there in flying carters. What a night for Martin Vasilik. Wins here in Torun in 2022. What a way to finish the season. Congratulations to him. Bartosz Smarzlik back in second place. The world champion just could not do anything about Vasilik and Leon Madsen and Janowski battling hard with Janowski just about hanging on there but uh, what a night it's been for Martin Vasilik two time Grand Prix winner in 2022 and what a way to finish wow yeah, that was that spectacular in Gorzhov as well so it's... yeah your final round in 2022 winner Martin Vasilik Martin you start the night off superbly and you finish off exactly the same way yeah, I'm very happy really. It's uh, it's amazing feeling win the Grand Prix. So uh, I'm very happy right now. And uh, yeah, what a what a finish season with the first place. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And also same way, I would like to congratulate all the boys who who uh, win the medals this year. And uh, yeah, just well done, boys.